So my guest today comes from Turkey, Shirley Tavasi, Managing Director of uh, YKC Bosphorus Relocation. They are an Istanbul-based relocation company, member of European Relocation Association. Uh, they provide specialized global mobility services for expatriates relocating to Turkey, ranging from classic uh, uh, relo services to more specialized uh, specialized services like, like immigration, visa and, and uh, consultancy services. Uh, hello, Shirley. Hello, Madalina. Thank you for thanks, having me. <laughs> thanks a lot for coming. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure seeing you. What would be what would be the most uh, the most difficult challenge that that you have been uh, confronted with all these years uh, um, working in the in the relocation business? Well, okay. Um, if you're in the relocation sector, you have to be a very calm and a cold-blooded person, as <laughs> it's very open for big surprises. I have to say, you deal with too many parties during the whole process. Mm -hmm. you deal with landlords, professional real estate agencies, unprofessional real estate agencies, uh, crazy landlords, uh, very nice landlords, and assignees coming from various cultures. And the relocation yeah. consultant is basically the sponge among this uh, whole crowd. Um, I've experienced the most challenging days of my entire career um, when one of the landlords informed me that he sold the house that my assignee rented just a few hours before the key handover meeting. The contract- That's bad, that's so bad. I have shivers down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> contract was signed, the payments were transferred, and the assignee's family was basically at the doorstep of the property to just, you know, put the luggages to in, in and then to move in. And when I heard it was a shock, and uh, I honestly, my brain couldn't comprehend what was happening. And I said, I just have to be calm and, uh, and call my assignee because I cannot lose one more minute because they're on the way coming to take over the keys basically. Obviously, um, there was no uh, good explanation or good excuse. Uh, there was a big frustration. I can imagine. But uh, it wasn't something that was in our hands. Uh, at the end of the day, it's the landlord's property and they have all the liberty not to give it away. Um, obviously, he returned the deposits and we started restarted the, the home finding and settling process. It took us another three, four weeks. Um, well, I had an unhappy assignee and it, it was a very big shock for me. So that was probably the worst, worst experience that I uh, that I encountered uh, in these uh, 12 years of my relocation career. Yeah, did you did you manage to turn that assignee over to try to try and smooth and the shock and the frustration? Well, obviously the um, the anger was there at the beginning, and uh, we we uh, we found the property. I mean, he uh, used his sources as well. We assisted with the contract and the settling in and all the utility connections and everything. Um, you cannot turn something into a positive uh, mark uh, after you experience such a bad um, such a blow yeah exactly um, and he didn't rate us good if you want to know this is this is the, this is the truth but uh, we we recovered uh, at the departure we managed okay. to help him in the best way we can and he understood that this was not something in our hands he never come back to this uh, topic uh -huh. again uh -huh. but um, we showed our uh, professionalism um, at the departure uh, so he actually said that I, he was not expecting such good service um, from from ykc so uh, that was kind of a recovery between between the assignee and ourselves yeah, uh, Shirley, what would be that one thing that you have learned in all these years never to do as as a, uh, um, as a managing director? Well, uh, it's I mean, the no word is a very strong word to use. <laughs> and uh, I have learned uh, to say no, no. To my clients, to my assignees. Because the no is a very strong and negative word. And uh, when people are changing their countries and leaving everything behind, they want to see uh, that everything is doable. Mm -hmm. 
the, not everything is doable, not everything is a yes, but there's always a good way, a positive way, way and a soft way, smooth way of saying no. Well, you don't use the no word, but the body language says the no. And then you try to find an alternative solution to make it a yes for them. And then they adapt to the no much easily. That's so, very interesting. <laughs> to a customer or a client. So the word no doesn't exist. No, no word doesn't exist. <laughs> super, super. Uh, what makes clients uh, choose the YKC? Um, I believe a good relocation consultant should know the country specifics very well. And uh, they should be able to smoothly set the expectations of the assignees. That is very, very important. And our strength is that we're always uh, very clear and mm -hmm. honest. Very transparent. We build trust with our assignees and we understand their needs and provide a tailor-made service for each of our customers. Most importantly, we, um, we make sure the co customer is in contact with the same person throughout the whole process. From beginning to end. From beginning to end and if possible, and it, it hasn't been impossible in our uh, company, even in the departure process. So when they come back to you after three years, it's very good for them to see the same face because you have gone through the whole process with them, mm -hmm. even in the with the small um, issues during the, the, the contract of the house. They know that you have seen the leakage. They know that you have seen there was a problem in the parking and mm -hmm. they, they feel more confident uh, when you are with them. And mm -hmm. we know that it's very difficult for the assignees to deal with too many parties, the immigration provider, the, the movers, the relocation, the settling in, the utilities and everything. So we believe that uh, when we are there uh, from the beginning until the end, um, that makes us uh, that makes us quite different from uh, other providers, because even in the, in the moving uh, part of the relocation, I see one person is answering one question and another person is answering another question and the assignee gets lost. And this is a complaint that I hear from my customers all the time. They sometimes cannot remember who you are and what part of the relocation you are dealing with. But once they have the face and once they know that you follow up very closely, they know you and they uh, appreciate it. This is our strength. Super. <laughs> what would be the funniest moment that you have uh, you have experienced? <laughs> I know. I know. Aside from uh, from uh, bad moments like the one you mentioned a bit a bit earlier, we all have our share, fair share of very very funny moments in this in this business. Yes. What is yours? <laughs> I will tell you uh, because I tell about it to my friends uh, as well from time to time, and it makes us all laugh very much. So. Um, Obviously, we work with the, I mean, the, the, the compound security guards, they know us very well because we come back uh, with clients. Open. Yeah. So uh, they know if there is an Italian family or, a, you know, a French family or a Chinese family in the compound, they know that we are related to them. So we more or less have a special access to um, many of the compounds. At least I can say easy is easier access than anybody else. So one morning, the chief security guard of one of the most popular compounds called me at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. And uh, he said, Mrs. Tavasi, uh, I'm sorry to disturb you at this time, but we have a problem um, with the family that you have assisted with. And I said, what is the problem? Uh, he said, I'm now looking at a raw chicken hanging down from the balcony of your family's house and it's hanging down to the to the neighbor there are tens of mosquitoes around it and it smells terrible and the neighbor below has complained about it to say, I mean to like remove a hanging it. chicken okay yeah. you know looking at you <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, well, apparently it was a tradition um, for that nationality. I don't. I just don't want to say anything. Okay. I don't want to uh, offend anybody. No, uh, yeah, it, it, of, of prosperity and wealth, and uh, it was that time of the year that they had to hang it because uh, it was hang good. Hang the chicken. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously I called uh, the husband because it was the wife who was the assignee working and, uh, you know, trying to explain it without, you know, offending anybody. Of course, because, because it was their tradition and they're trying to, yeah. Tradition, uh, what can you say about it? But, you know, this is Istanbul and below there is a very... Another family, yeah. ...living and uh, it's not nice to have tens of mosquitoes around. And obviously they removed it and they apologized. But the way <laughs> I called me in the morning saying that we have a slight a hanging and there's a chicken in hanging me. on yeah. the balcony. <laughs> so it was one of the experiences I laughed so yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> super, super. Uh, Shirley, Shirley, what did you want to be to be when you grew up as a kid? Mm, well, <laughs> you won't believe that, but... Um, Honestly, I've always wanted to be the CEO of a company, of a multinational company. You know? Really? Yes. Any company. I don't know about the sector. I just wanted yeah. to be the CEO. You know, these talented women that you see on the covers of the magazine. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm really amazed um, of uh, intelligent, smart and talented people where they can do too many things at the same time. You know, they can run a company, they have four kids at home and, uh, you know, dealing with uh, too many things. And yeah. with we, I, I am the CEO of my company. I'm the owner of my company, yeah. but not multinational yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, this, uh, this really um, amazes me all the time. Um, talented, intelligent, smart women where they, they can become a, a mother at home. Whatever they want. Anything they want. So, uh, and it's very interesting that I'm actually uh, in kind of a relationship with these type of people because I'm providing relocation services and I see the challenges that they go through. Uh -huh. It's not easy, but maybe 15 years ago, I would never have imagined the difficulties that uh, they face today. But yeah. uh, it was my dream. <laughs> Super. Uh, and what would be your superpower? My superpower? <laughs> well, uh, I can say um, I'm able to connect with every kind of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't pretend. I'm supernatural. I just behave the same way I do in my everyday life. And uh, I believe I create trust not only with my clients, with my customers, but with the people that I, you know, that I that knew meet. with. Because I'm a positive person and I like to, uh, I, I'm a soft-spoken person, I can uh -huh. say. Uh -huh. You're a soft-spoken person. The approach uh, from from people is in parallel, uh, very soft and, and uh, nice. Maybe not everything end with a positive thing but it doesn't matter the the relation that you create uh, with people should be should start should commence nice and positive and i feel and i know that i have the strength and this is the reason why i believe relocation is one of my um, one of the best things i could have done in my life mm -hmm. career because I like what I'm doing. I love my job and I love being with people and people need uh, these kinds of souls, happy, positive and helpful people. And it's this a perfect match, a perfect match. Exactly. Super, thanks a lot, Shirley. Thanks a lot for your time. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much for you too.